So while we're waiting for this to load up, welcome to the uh, first round of the AusNZ Combined Racing League Series 1 Ferrari 355 Challenge. Uh, we've got a eight round series here. Uh, unfortunately, on the first, uh, first week, we had some connection problems, so we had to split the lobby. We had a nice lobby of 13. Should have worked all okay, but uh, some of the guys had some force feedback and uh, problems driving on the straight line in the Ferrari, so we decided to split up the lobby right at the end of qualifying of here at Monza for round one, uh, which split the grid with Sato doing the commentary there. Uh, so we end up having five in this grid here, and I think it was six or seven in in the uh, in the main lobby there. So the first round here is at Monza GP for round one. And then the second round is Catalonia National, so we do that. We do two rounds per night. Uh, and uh, the following week, we'll do round three and four, which is a zero circuit, and then Imola. We then have a week's break, as uh, be on holidays, and we'll say that uh, weekend is the first round of the V8 Supercars here in Australia, so some of the guys might be attending that event. Uh, so and, and also obviously watching it throughout the uh, two two days over the weekend. So we're having just a, a, a week's break. We'll come back on Sunday the 10th of March for round five and six at uh, Le Mans Bugatti Circuit and then the fabulous Mugello Short Track, which should uh, offer plenty of action, I'd say. It's a great track, good overtaking possibilities in these Ferraris. And then the following week, to finish off the eight-round series, we uh, visit Catalonia again, but on the GP layout. And the final round is at Algarve in Portugal. So that's uh, the series uh, and the season. So we'll uh, get to the uh, race here. This is, as I said, the uh, split lobby uh, for round one. Uh, the bottom half of qualifying decided uh, it would best to drop off and put ourselves into a new lobby so we can all race and have a enjoyable race instead of guys having that problem with their force feedback and maybe forcing them to quit out or get frustrated and that's one thing we don't want within Oz and Z combined racing league we want everyone to have some fun and that's what we're all about and uh, good clean competitive racing so we'll have a look here we had um, obviously Dado here was on pole so off we go and the rain is uh, is definitely coming down fairly fairly hard here. And see how they manage this first corner. The spray, the spray would be uh, hampering a few of the guys with their braking points. You can see one there just running a bit wide there at the back, which was AJ, I think, just getting out of the way so he didn't get into contact with anyone. And uh, Simo Racing has made the jump on top of Dado here to lead the first lap. Going into the uh, second corner here, you can see the puddle starting to form on the inside of that uh, curbing, which you've got to be careful of. I uh, ran a, uh, ran over that during practice, I think it was, and uh, had a big moment, a uh, brown moment in the underpants, you could say. And here goes uh, Dado taking a nice uh, overtake move on Simo. Great respect in racing by the two. And... Um, so Dado there has uh, found himself. He's got a nice little gap straight away there, 1.5 seconds. Just see if Simo can do anything about that and hold on, hold on to the draft here, get there and, and last little bit just to uh, stay in touch with Dado. Might just move over to Simo as uh, he's got uh, Woody Lizard and myself just uh, trailing him behind here, trying to put a little bit of pressure there. Breaking into Ascari here. Just squirming a little, little bit there in the rear brakes by the looks of it. It's holding on and uh, Woody's got Sandpappy all over the back of him coming out of the Ascari. But he looks like he's gone a little bit wide, Sandpappy. So we can just see here the uh, the rain in this uh, screenshot here. You can just see it really coming down. Late afternoon, or I think it was about 1pm the race start was. And here we go. And I'm um, just looking here to uh, put some extra pressure here on um, on Simo, you know, the Parabolica. And AJD has found himself in front of Sam Papi after um, obviously running right out of the um, exit of their Ascari. Dado's uh, 
had a f nice first lap. Oh, squirming under brakes there. He's, um, oh, and then AJ has got nothing to do. He's he's tagged Simo, which is then forced into myself. And Sam Pappy is going to take the um, take advantage of all that little scrap there. Hey, AJ was um, squirming there under the brakes, as, as was um, Sam Pappy. I mean, not Sam, but Simo Racing. Sure, AJ will. Um, doesn't mean to uh, race like that. So, uh, I'm sure that he he's uh, be a bit annoyed about that and apologetic towards um, Simo there. But uh, that these things happen sometimes, and uh, it's all about racing back on and composing yourself and get back into it. So he finds himself after that mistake there, back at the rear of the grid there after making that move on Sand Pappy. It's uh, an area will be just uh, fighting in there to uh, put pressure, which looks like Woody just made a mistake there. A little bit of a moment. This has really put a lot of pressure on here, and AJ's looking down in the inside here of, um, of Ascari. And he has, he's made that move. Woody, Woody's giving him room there. Now we'll just see uh, how uh, Simo's there on top of uh, Sand Pappy. Simo's flashing his lights. So this is going to be uh, a close part of the race here. Let's see if the uh, mid-pack can group together and uh, hopefully catch up to Dado. But it looks like Dado's got his uh, clear... clear uh, so there's heels there, or what that's saying. I've had a mental blank, but uh, anyways, it's eight seconds in front of uh, San Papi in second in the yellow 37 Ferrari. Doing a great job. He's a new member of ours, uh, first series for him. So I'm sure he'll be enjoying being in that position there and benefited from the mistake earlier from uh, coming in here lap before with AJ Dean and, and uh, Simo. He's really taken off there, and uh, he's, he's really put the man in his second spot there. And so we'll just go back here to Simo. Simo holding third with a fast charging AJD 1984. He's in his um, his number 10 Rosso Azoro car, chasing down Simo in the number eight Nero Verde. Oh, and AJD has had a spin at the top of the screen there. And so has Simo. What is going on? All of a sudden, is Woody going to benefit from there and jump up into third position? Unbelievable. A chain of events here. We'll just have a look to see Dado. He's doing it nice and easy out in front. Seven, seven and a bit seconds in front. Coming through Ascari. You can see that rain still coming down. And the f it looks like fog's starting to roll in, as was planned. So um, the rain's just slowly easing off, but the fog's going to add a new new dimension to the uh, to the track and and a new challenge to the, for the drivers. Fairly sp um, spread out at the moment, so as far as spray's concerned, it won't be that much of an issue. It's just the visual and make sure that they. Uh, get their braking markers right, especially at the end of the chicane, uh, end of the main straight here into the first chicane. So, uh, Dado's going to be the first one to experience this fog in coming into this. Well, you can see it's very foggy now. And you've just got to make sure he brakes nicely, no lock-ups. Done well in through that first chicane. His car looks very, very stable. He's got a very fast, stable car in the wet. Cars are sprung fairly uh, fairly soft, so uh, they can't be uh, can't be firmed up too much. So uh, they do lean around a little bit, move around. They're sniffy, stiffening the springs and the and the roll bars to try and stop that movement as best as they can. In the wet, they might have softened them up a little bit just to try and get that mechanical grip a little bit for them. It's uh, Dado's Dado's having a very nice, clean first. First out in in the Ferraris here in round one at Monza. And on uh, lap lap four of 11, he finds himself 
six and a half seconds in front of San Papi in his number three Rosso Bianco Ferrari 355 challenge. And the race is on between um, AJD here and Simo. It's uh, very close. So four of 11. So just a six and, six and a left bit to go, laps. These cars are really, really fun cars to drive. A good um, opening series for us in AusNZ Combined Racing League. You can find us at, uh, on the internet, on, on just search for uh, AusNZ Combined Racing League. Uh, we're on a website via Webly. Or you can find us on Facebook groups and just search ANZCRL and... Um, answer those three simple questions we've got as we only are accepting uh, uh, races from Australia and New Zealand uh, just to keep the um, the ping down on the servers and uh, make the racing a lot more enjoyable for all our members and uh, just let us know what platform that you are on the Xbox and uh, like to play Project Cars too as we not a group that really uh, well, we don't race we don't organise any races in on Forza or any other other games, it's mainly solely on Project Cars 2. So um, there's plenty of other groups there that are obviously very good groups that do great events on um, Forza and the other games. So we like to just concentrate on Project Car 2 for the uh, Xbox console sim races out there. The battle's on sh here. We've got uh, AJD coming because it's caught Woody Lizard and uh, putting a lot of pressure magnificent 355 Ferraris they used to be a gentleman series back in the day a lot of uh, the wealthy that could afford the cars and race them uh, it wasn't really a professional series it used to run a support with Formula 1 and other series back in the late late 90s um, so yeah they, they really were a, um, a car that a lot of the you know, guys used to go out and, and race fairly cleanly but uh, here, where he races on the sim races, and uh, we're not afraid to have a little bit. Oh, and we've got Simo there on the side. I think, from from memory from that race, I think he I informed that he blew his engine. He's just on the um, exit there of the uh, corner before we come down that straight down into the Ascari. He's pulled off to the side after uh, after what was a promising start to round one for him. And he was tagged then by AJD and and then uh, found himself at the rear of the field. But uh, that's unfortunate for him. And we'll go back to this battle between AJD and uh, Woody. That's really the only battle we've got going here at the moment as uh, Dado's on, uh, on in lap six. And uh, he finds himself around nine seconds in front of San Papi. Increasing that gap to probably roughly around 10 seconds. So he's doing a fine job out front, doing what uh, a lot of the guys out front can do when they've got a nice gap, just manage their race and limit those mistakes. Not push too hard, just manage that gap between second and uh, and uh, just let those laps, count those laps down. With mean, the track starting to dry here, the tyres, um, in this series we've got the tyres um, set to accelerated as the races are only going to be lasting around the 22 minute mark, so it throws um, throws up a bit of a variable for the drivers. Uh, most of the tyres under after 22 minutes of racing will be running down fairly low. Uh, we would have used up most of the tyre um, optimum performance, so they will start moving around near the end and it really will benefit those that can manage the tyres and not lock them up and and uh, yeah have the right tyre pressure set and uh, you should see those guys benefit near the end of the race when the other guys have uh, worn their tyres out at the start or through the mid race part of, of the uh, session as you can see it is starting to dry up in the areas uh, the game does really well in the in the sun in the areas where the track's got a lot of sun you'll find that the uh, spray will reduce 
and uh, and around that back section of the, uh, the circuit, the two right-hand corners where it's all under shade, uh, should be fairly damp most of the race. So uh, we've got. Uh, Woody Lizard here in, in third, he's uh, just five seconds off of Sam Pappy in second, with Dado out in front, uh, further 10 seconds up the, uh, um, leading the race by 10 seconds. And uh, we've only got the four running here at the moment because Simo Racing blew his engine there on lap five, I think it was, lap five or lap four. That might have had something to do with the contact because he uh, got tagged by AJD and then he uh, also ran into Woody Lizard as well, so he might have done some damage to his cooling, his radiator. And here's, uh, here's myself in the number 67 Bianco Rosso, holding third position. We're uh, seven laps down, another four to go. It would be good if we could have had us all in that one lobby of 13, but unfortunately it just wasn't going to happen. Um, both AJD and Dado had a very had a problem with the car where it, went, it was just tracking left and right down the straights. Um, and, but we, over the uh, thinking later on, we think that uh, the setting wheel settings on uh, Dado's wasn't correct, so we've rectified that. So hopefully that will uh, alleviate that problem for him. He did say that uh, with a shorter number of uh, people in there, he didn't have that too much of an issue, but he was still finding it difficult to go in a straight line. So that made us think that um, it wasn't to do with the lobby size. It would have uh, probably, um, you know, uh, uh, highlighted it to him, like really pronounced it for him with more with the net coding to do with it. But uh, other than that, uh, if it's still happening with only a, sh a grid of five, uh, definitely something with his wheel, with his settings. So we've gone through those with him during the week and hopefully for rounds three and four you'll find that that's made his wheel a lot better and, and we might be able to uh, have a bigger grid. But we are going kind to of limit to 12. Uh, we don't go above 12 on the Xbox. Special events that we run, we run up to a maximum of 14 just as we uh, only run the one, one lobby the majority of special events. So you can see they've... they've, they've They're um, finding the wet line there to keep their tyres cool. They uh, to slow down the tyre wear. Uh, so they're hunting the wet part of the track going down that straight there, down the main straight. There's not much in this, this between these two guys. AJD's just been putting... Over the last three laps, been slowly catching Woody and just putting that little bit of extra pressure on him. Staying within a second. So, uh, Woody knows one little mistake. Uh, just let uh, AJD come in and uh, grab that final podium position for round one. And these times are all... They're actually... We are using the final race time to... Um, get the final results between the two lobbies so Dado will be still even though he's out in front he won't be off the pedal he'll be still on it uh, because his overall time is going to uh, reflect his overall position between the two lobbies we get them all together and uh, that'll get the uh, yeah uh, the overall race race results between the two lobbies so it's a race within races basically when we got two lobbies Oh, Woody's uh, really, really letting that car, you can see that flow on them, but just drift a little bit wide and hit that curb, which might have affected his run down here the, into the Parabolica, leading up into it. AJD's got his lights blaring. We, uh, trying to trying to distract, distract uh, Woody the best he can. Sometimes running up wide up around that corner, it's not necessarily a slow line. It sometimes uh, can give you a really good run for uh, top speed, overall speed down the straight, which we're all fighting for down this straight. You gain that few little extra metres into the braking zone. 
They've been a few kilometres faster than the car in front. Oh, Woody's talking about that. Woody has just uh, overshot his braking marker and he is thrown away he's what was going to be a nice third position for him. He doesn't find himself too much on podiums and that would have been good for, uh, for him. But uh, anyway, these things happen and uh, now it's uh, AJD in third. Lap 9 of 11. So now uh, can Woody put his head down and, uh, and, make, and make that distance up. He's two and a half seconds behind. You can see the gap there, but uh, as these cars are evenly matched, being the same make, comes down more to driver skill and ability. And, um, and who can keep it, uh, you know, race the cleanest and not make too many mistakes. As you can see, that's cost... Woody dearly there, and uh, what was third is now fourth. Just think if Simo was still racing too, he would have been on the back of this pack, and, and Simo could have uh, maybe been in the fourth, maybe been split the two red Ferraris, Simo's black Ferrari. Anyway, at the end of this on the end of this lap, we will be two more laps to remaining. Dado's just on that now, he's just on to his 10th lap out of 11, so two more to go. Yeah, so he's, uh, he seems very comfortable in that car. Get that power down out of that corner without it being too tail happy, even up on the curbs there, which were wet. Cars are still on their uh, wet tyres. You imagine that they'd be. Uh, They've seen the best of their days though, so uh, they'd be fairly worn out. The front front left's really got a punishment around uh, around this track, around Monza. Yeah, it's still a little bit of spray. The track didn't completely dry out for the guys. And you can see a little bit more spray around the uh, shadows here. In the back section of the track here and then come in the sun and not too much spray. That's a uh, fine display for Dado. And then San Papi, he's, he's done really extremely well. We've even been involved in a little bit of an instant there and as the rain looks like it's just starting to come back and just start to... Uh, Fall again. That shouldn't really affect these guys because uh, the, the heat's in the tyres the best it can be with a bit of a damp track. And uh, with one lap remaining, uh, the track won't get uh, wet for them. And the looks of that. But yeah, first first race for uh, in the Oz NZ Combined Racing League, and he's done extremely well. And the old wiser guys, uh, Dado Racer and Sand Pappy have uh, shown the younger guys, or we, we're not really young, we're 40 odd and 30 odd and mid-age, uh, uh, what what it's all about, and put us all in our place, so well done to Dado and San Papi, coming on to their final lap, and it looks like uh, Woody has bridged that gap between AJD again, who both have... Um, both AJD and Woody Lizard have uh, know each other fairly well. Their driving styles were teammates in the, in the V8 supercars at the final series that we ran last year. Teamed up at Bathurst for the, for the Bathurst 1000. But here I, here's Woody, hard on the brakes and throwing as much pressure as he can to AJD, hoping he can make a mistake. Woody's uh, got his headlights down, maybe trying to get that little extra added performance, aero, if it does work. So he's very close here in the last lap, coming up to the uh, second chicane up here. And Woody's uh, thinking about it, but thought, thought twice there. It's uh, very, you've got to really make sure that you're well and truly well up up alongside the other car if you want to make the move there. And you might be 
biding his time, see if he can get a good run out of uh, Scari and have a good run to the Parabolica and maybe put the nose up, up the inside there. We'll see. Got a good exit through here. Leading on into the Ascari. Chicane. And what can he do? Just stay with this battle here. We've got Dado. We're we about to take the uh, checkered flag. With San Papi second. And this is the battle for third of the final podium position in this lobby. And Woody's run wide. He's. he's uh, any chance that he had, maybe he's been dashed there. Let's uh, see if he can uh, really stamp on the brakes the last, last moment. And we just got chatty with Lockie, five fives, can't wait for Daytona. Yes, we're running a special event for the Daytona 500. Um, but here AJD has uh, kept it clean out of uh, the Parabolica and he's taken the final position on the podium. Well done. And finished third, Woody Lizard fourth. Yeah, so we're running the Daytona 500, but we're not doing full 200 laps. Um, as uh, I don't think it's going to be uh, beneficial for us all uh, for just turning left for uh, two and a bit hours in the NASCAR. So we'd, we've decided to do a third of the race distance, which is roughly 66 laps. And we've caught it the Route 66 to Daytona 500. So there's a little bit of a Americana still to it. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, that was the uh, the end of that uh, first round. We had Dado Racer, Simo Racing 4. Um, I mean, San Papi 2nd, sorry. Then AJD 3rd, Woody Lizard 4th, and Simo Racing 4 okay, had a DNF. And so after that... Um, First round with the two lobbies together, we had Chuck racing in first. Dado Racer without um, without backing off there, he managed to finish second in front of Taipan Samurai, who was in the top lobby, followed by Triple Rotor. Then San Papi came fifth. Shads was sixth. AJD seventh. Woody Lizard eighth. Gear Three Gaming came ninth. Uncrewed Squid came in tenth. Dark Racing was eleventh. And then the DNFs were Simo Racing 4 and then Whopper, who retired, I think it was the first lap or so, in the um, top lobby with some problems with his hardware. So there we go. We'll finish there and uh, turn left. Oh, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Yes, thank you, Lockie. I think I said turn right. Got things going through my brain. But anyway, that's the end of um, round one. Thank you. And uh, I'll organise the uh, replay of round two in the next few minutes. All right. Thank you.